The biggest amount of Vespas I ever seen. Good morning from Switzerland. It's my third day here and unfortunately today is the last day here as tonight I'm going to Germany but it's the most excited day for me because I'm going to Furka Pass. It's one of the highest ones and it has the glacier so I'm very very excited. This is the Furka Pass, 2,436 meters above sea level. Look at this little cuties. Hello. Hello. I cannot even see their eyes. Here we are, this is the famous Belvedere Hotel and this turn around it. On the other side there is a glacier, you need to go I believe through the gift shop. And wow, this place looks so cool. Right, to get to the glacier you need to go through the gift shop, uh, the entrance fee is 9 francs and it gives you the access to the ice cave that is further ahead. It is very cold here, my car showed that it was like 2 degrees Celsius so I got everything ahead on me, like t-shirt, shirt, sweatshirt, Whew. and here we are at the viewpoint. Behind me is the Rhone Glacier and unfortunately it's melting and melting. I saw the picture of that being much, much bigger. Down there at the bottom covered with some white material, I believe is the ice caved and they just probably covered so they don't melt that quick. I read it in reviews that people say those caves used to be much bigger than they are now, but I hope they still worth visiting. So let's find out. It is like a 7-10 minutes walk to the ice caves here. You know, it's not that aesthetically pleasing, but probably that was the only thing they could have done to preserve them for a longer time. 
You see how the glacier farther down is kind of black from all of the rocks and soil on top of that and it heats up faster so it means it melts faster and when they cover that in white it's gonna stay for a longer time. Wow, it's so blue. Nice. It's not a true cave because that white material is right above my head, so it doesn't create an ice cave. I hope the cave is somewhere further ahead. Yes, I found a real piece of cave. You actually can see how melted it is there and like almost nothing and probably here on the top it's like 10 centimeters or something left of ice what is like till next year or something it's unbelievable how blue this ice is i think like the color down here is kind of the most blue there are some big cracks in here where the water is pouring There is no sign here if that's the end or not because it doesn't say that it's the end. But if you see here, you kind of can kind of crawl up there. But then I'm not sure if that's slippery or not. Look behind. Wow. You can imagine how big is a piece of ice above me. <laughs> that's scary. My shoes are really very slippery. I'm not sure if I can get up here. I don't want like to fall down in that crack underneath. So I didn't go up there and maybe I'll try to find another way to the glacier itself. But if that's it, just, what was that? Like 40 meters of like real cave, maybe even less. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed, honestly. I saw there gonna be much more exploration here. I was driving along the Lake Lucerne and I had to stop because it's so beautiful. Switzerland, please stop. Like, why it's so beautiful here? I have to stop every 15 minutes. I'm not gonna make it on time where I want to because it's just unbelievable. in Zurich, already to return my car, have a couple of hours to walk around the city as I have the bus to Munich in a couple of hours. I actually wanted to book a train, but train price was hundred something dollars for like three hour ride and bus was 15 or 16 dollars and obviously I choose the bus. Everybody says that the buses are awful, but I want to check it out and see if they really are or not and then continue my trip through Germany on trains. The only problem right now is the weather because it's raining and I don't have any rain jacket or anything. I left everything at that car rental place. People were very nice and they allowed me to keep my backpack there until I return and go on my bus. rain situation got better but I think it's still gonna be all wet I think those tiny regular cobblestone streets are some jewelry shopping area oh wow this is beautiful here I also noticed like there is a good amount of people here who just like walking on the street and like singing just for themselves so interesting Trams here are like 
like every two three minutes the city is so busy you always see them around i'm really amazed how public transportation is developed here and in the whole switzerland as well no matter which road you take they're going to be like a railway next to it and it seems you can get pretty much everywhere just by trains also i noticed that in zurich the biggest amount of Vespas I ever seen and I'm not surprised since Vespa is kind of the best looking the best driving scooter and that's it for this short visit of Switzerland I am living in Zurich and I'm going to Munich right now I'm very impressed it was very quick pace of these three and a half days here in Switzerland all I can say, I just barely scratched the surface and I will definitely be back and explore more of architecture and nature. This is my bus to München. I arrived to Munich. I'm happy to be in Germany. That's a new country. I've never been here before. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, put the thumbs up if you like it, the bell notification to be the first one to see the next video and into the next one.